Guten Tag. This is lesson number six of the so-called secret of the German language uh, regarding cases and genders in German. And today we actually have some good news for you. You remember those poor little orphaned endings? Well, guess what? Some of them are going to get adopted today. Yay! Very good. So, uh, remember these symbols here, here, and here, which you've already written out, okay? Those mean that the uh, normal endings, the normal R and the S and the S, were uh, orphaned by those darn ein words, okay? So those ein words orphaned the R and the S and the S. They orphaned those little endings, okay? Just like this sentence, ein man ist hier. We don't say einer, man ist here, we just say ein, no R. Ein man ist here. We've already had that lesson. Okay, but if, uh, if we've orphaned that R, I want you to uh, know something. The adjectives happen to be the most generous words on planet German. Okay, adjectives want to adopt any orphaned endings. They're just that way. Okay, so if we put in an adjective, okay, uh, let me see here. So the R that was normally there with der minus tier, these are minus tier, and so forth. The R is a bit orphaned, I got that. Okay, so uh, I've orphaned it with I minus tier. Now I want to put a big man is here. That word big, that adjective, wants to adopt any orphan endings. So if we've orphaned one of these three endings, and if we have an adjective, that adjective will adopt it, rather than follow the crooked line rule, the adjective will adopt the orphan ending. Isn't that a sweet story? And you thought Germans were cruel. Okay, here we go. So, ein Grosser. There's that R showing up again, okay? So, the ein orphan the ending, but our very generous Gross here, Gross has adopted that ending. Now we have ein Grosser, man ist hier. Okay? That's how this works, all right? Ein großer Mann. In fact, if there's a string of adjectives, they all want to adopt that orphan ending. Ein großer, netter, schöner Mann ist hier. I guess they just share custody or something. So, don't you feel better now about German? Yes. Okay, same thing with these ones, okay? If I'm up here, ein Kind ist hier, and I orphan the S, and I want to say a silly kid is here, I pick out that S once again, I don't this kind is here, and I ignore the crooked line rule. Instead, we're just adopting that poor little orphan S. Okay? Or, ich habe ein Spielzeug, that's this S, uh, so I orphan that S right here. And if I say, ich habe ein neues Spielzeug, the word neu, this adjective, has adopted this S right here. So, that's how it works. You're actually learning quite a bit of grammar already here. So, his beautiful wife is young. How about that? His beautiful wife is young. Well, Frau is uh, feminine, and she's quite clearly the subject of the sentence. So that puts us right here. So I need the Zaina, and there's no orphaning going on. So for this one, and the adjective here, I simply follow the crooked line rule. The crooked line uh, it's above the line, so I need this E right there. So, seine schöne Frau ist jung. There we go. So, seine schöne Frau, and there it is right there. Okay, how about this one? Uh, Mr. Smith hits the lazy kid with the ruler. I love a sentence like this. Very good. So, uh, the kid here is uh, neuter, remember that, and we know that that's functioning as the direct object. He's being hit, so what's being hit? The child. Okay, so uh, the child is uh, going to be the direct object in here. And then, uh, there's an orphan sign here. The question is, does this dare word orphan its endings? No, it doesn't. So we keep the S, okay, we didn't orphan it. We keep the S, schlecht das, and then for foul, we again just follow the crooked line rule. 
Faule. So, Schlecht das Faule Kind. Diminial. Okay? So, very good. There it is. Das Faule Kind. Mit dem Lineal. But, if I now put a word that will orb in its endings, like kein, we're still here, but kein now does orphan that S. So now, foul is desperate to adopt that S. So we have kein with no ending, and then fouless, kein fouless. Okay? So we've now adopted that ending, and here's what it will look like. Er Schmidt schlägt kein faules Kind mit dem Lineal. A much nicer sentence. Very good. Let's try another one here. Our ugly teacher looks at a beautiful student. Well, yeah, that isn't awkward. All right, here we go. Uh, our ugly teacher, if that's a male teacher, we're over here as the subject. Oh, does unser orbit its endings? Yes, it does. So we have orphaned this R. Uh, you say, isn't there an R there already? Yeah, but that's the base of the word. It's actually possible to say unserer, unserer, here, 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 unserer. But in this case, we are going to uh, orphan that R and just have unser. But this nice adjective here wants to adopt this R. So that's where we put it back. Hässlicher. So, unser hässlicher Lehrer looks at a beautiful female student. How about that? So, uh, the student is obviously female. That's over here then. And then, how is she functioning in this sentence? She's functioning as the direct object. She's what's being looked at. So, here she is, direct object. Puts it right here. There's no orphaning signs. So, we follow the normal rules. Okay. Aina, and then it's above the line, so right here for hübsche, okay, hübsche Schülerin. So we have this one here. Unser, orphaned, hässlicher, adopted, Lehrer schaut eine ja, hübsche Schülerin an. Okay, that's how that works. My nice mother gives my crazy brother a yellow flower, because that's actually that's what you give to crazy brothers, as you well know. Okay? My nice mother. Well, mother is feminine. Okay? And uh, she's clearly the subject of the sentence. So, we have this E. There's no orphaning going on. No orphan sign. So, we just follow the normal pattern. Uh, so, we have the first E right here, my net. And then net is going to follow the crooked line rules. So, we're above the line. Net. So, my net. 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 Mutter, get. Now, uh, brother we know is masculine, but how is he functioning here? He's quite clearly the indirect object. He's receiving a flower. The flower is the direct object. That's what's being given. So, Bruder uh, is going to be down here, masculine, indirect object. And we need to keep that M right here. So, my M, my M. And then this adjective just follows the crooked line rule below the line over here. Verrückten Bruder. So again, meinem verrückten Bruder. And then Blume with the E ending is going to be feminine. Very good guess. And we already said it's the direct object. So we're right here. And that's just the regular rules. Eine. And it's above the crooked line. So, gelbe Blume. Let's look at that again. So, meine nette Mutter gibt meinem verrückten Bruder eine gelbe Blume. That's how that works, all right? How about this one? The green apple of your older sister is rotten. Okay? So, your older sister's Green apple is rotten. Uh, the green apple is the subject, okay? And we're over here. Uh, there's an orphan sign. Does uh, the dare words, do they orphan their endings? Nope, only I words do. So we keep the R. So dare. And uh, since we're going with the regular rules, we'll do the crooked line rule for this, okay? 
der grüne. So, again, der, regular R, grüne, regular adjective ending, apfel, of your older sister. Okay, we know that sister's feminine, and I think by now you're figuring out that this is the possessor of the apple. Okay, so feminine, possessive, or genitive here is this R. So, deiner, and then this adjective follows the crooked line rule, älteren. So, deiner, älteren, schwester ist verdorben. I'll do that one more time. So, we have der, grüne, apfel, deiner, älteren, schwester ist verdorben. All right? Start some translations. Her blue pencil's gone, okay? Her blue pencil. Uh, pencil. Do you know what uh, gender that is? Pencil is masculine. Good guess, okay? And it's the subject of the sentence, so we are on this one here. Whoops. Does her orbit its endings? Yes, it does. Her is an ein word. Remember, all of the possessives are ein words, and all of the possessives orphan their endings here, here, and here. So, no ending on ear, just ear, okay? Uh, then we want to adopt that R that we've orphaned on this word blue. So therefore, blauer. So ear, orphaned, blauer, adopted. Bleistift is weg, okay? So once again, ear, orphaned, blauer, adopted. Okay, ear, blauer, bleistift, ist weg. All right? The happy boy recognizes his old girlfriend. Well, it could happen. All right, here we go. So, happy boy is the subject. Boy is masculine. There we go. Does the orphan its endings? No, nope, we keep the R. So, regular endings and regular crooked line rule for happy. So, uh, there. For this one, happy is above the line, so glücklicher or froh, okay? glücklicher or froh, junger, remember recognizes, that's erkennt, erkennt, uh, his old girlfriend, well, girlfriend's quite clearly feminine, but how is she functioning in this? Well, she's being recognized, she's being verbed, that's the direct object that puts it here, okay? So, no orphaning, we keep the regular endings again. Zaina, and then the old is going to be on the crooked line rule up here. Alte, so Zaina, Alte, Freundin. And this is what it'll look like, okay? So, der, glückliche, junge, erkannt, Zaina, Alte, Freundin. There we go. Okay, this nice teacher reads a good story to every young child. The way you're going to work this is uh, treat it like this nice teacher reads every young child a good story. This, this sentence structure, by the way, generally sounds better to Germans. It, it just sounds like more German word order. So let's, let's translate more this than this one, okay? So this nice teacher, well, I didn't put there whether it's a male or a female, um, We've done male so many times, why don't we do female, okay? So, uh, if it's female and it's the subject, uh, then we just follow the regular line rule, okay? That would be uh, diese, and uh, nice is above the line, so nette, so diese, nette, lehrerin. And by the way, if it was masculine, and I didn't put this down, it would be dieser nette. So, dieser nette Lehrer for a male teacher and diese nette Lehrerin for a female teacher. Least, so reads. <clears throat> now, every young child, uh, how is that child functioning here? We know the child's neuter, uh, but how is it functioning? The child is the indirect object because the child's basically receiving the story. So the story is the direct object, that's what's being told. So the story is being told, that's the direct object, and the child's receiving it, that makes the child the indirect object. So, uh, child, as we said, is neuter, and it's the indirect object, so we're right here. Uh, every means is M, so yedem, 
Young needs to be below the line, so it's en. Jungen, kind. All right. A good story. Well, you probably remember that story is Geschichte. Uh, Geschichte ends with an e. Most nouns that end with an e are feminine. And we just got through saying that it's the direct object. So it's being told it's the direct object. So a good story. Eine, and then above the line, gute Geschichte. All right. Let's try that. So once again, dieser. Oh, I guess I went with masculine on this one. Uh, dieser, nette, lehrer, least, jedem, sorry, this one, jedem, jungen, kind, eine, gute, Geschichte. And again, that's how it's done. A nice girl's big dog is sweet. Well, that's kind of crazy again. But remember, we have to change that around to the big dog of a nice girl. The big dog of a nice girl. So, the big dog is the subject, okay? We know the dog is masculine. Here's the subject. Does the orphan its endings? No. So, uh, only high words orphan the endings. The keeps the R. So, there. Then, big is going to follow the crooked line rule. Above the line is E. So, der große, okay? Der große Hund, okay? Uh, of a nice girl. We know that girl is neuter, okay? And we have to go with uh, this one here. So, eines, yes, that's right, actually. Eines, eines, of a, eines. Nice is below the line, so we're over here. Netten. Mädchen also needs this S. Mädchens. So, eines netten Mädchens. Let's look at that again. Der, right there, der, große Hund eines netten Mädchens. With that smaller S there. No orphan endings at all. Okay? So, now today's tip. Anything that ends with Schaft and Un and Tate are always feminine. Okay? Freundschaft, Zeitung, Universität. Okay? There's plenty of words that end with these endings in German, and they're always feminine, all the time, no exceptions. So uh, that's a nice rule. You may want to write that down in your notes there, okay? So I hope you're still keeping up with me. We have a few more lessons to go. See if you can get this difficult grammar, right? One year of grammar in nine short lessons. Let's do it.